Join a hunting party, explore the nature reserve on your own. Port report. Export Apollonian cinders. Wait, have I not done this one before? Is that a third thing to export? Demand is much greater than supply. LNS are raking in sovereigns. The company's looking for a captain to deliver a shipment. Yeah, we're two. New Winchester. Okay, so yeah, the knots and Apollonian cinders go to New Winchester, and then we got something else a while ago that goes to Port Prosper, and I haven't delivered it yet. Ooh, bargain for nectar. I'm so low on money. Damn. Uh, anyway, let's do what we came here for. Yes, discuss their secret initiative. Find him in his cabin. You'll need munitions if you want to help. Let me know when you're ready. I'll give you the best map I can. Yeah, something in the reserve has driven my comrades to madness. Let's enter the reserve. You'll be going alone. You'll only have your wits and your weapons. The researcher passes you a map of the wilderness. It looks like the work of a child. <laughs> the man who made that was one of our best scouts, he says proudly. But our worst cartographer. He died from climbing too high in the inevitable fall. Please, find out what's driven my friends to madness. Follow the trail. Map indicates that you should continue straight ahead from the forked road visiting neither Albert River nor the Violet Whirl. Going on tours through the reserve will make this easier. Hmm? I have done tours. Right? I've done at least a couple. Visiting neither Albert's River nor the Violet Whirl. The abundance forms a labyrinth. The trees on each side grow so close together that it takes all of your wits to navigate the undergrowth. But you forge a path through the brush till you emerge at a clearing. There are no other people here. It's, oh god, this next one is a 24% chance because it uses hearts. There are no other people here. It's just you and the birds and flowers, trees and woodland creatures, streams and bumbling insects. Any evils are insidious. Be on your guard. Pass through the meadow. This clearing is filled with powder blue mushrooms. They sway gently in the breeze. All other routes are guarded by fierce are guarded by fierce in thorns? I, I think that's messed up. Guarded by fierce thorns. The only way onward is straight through. Yeah, failure. Oh no, that used up our munitions. It's gonna take mun new munitions each time, isn't it? After only a few steps into the fungal meadow, a smell overwhelms you. It's worse than when the cantankery guts got trapped in the locomotive kitchen and rotted. Ugh. There's a sweetness here that highlights the rancidity. You back out. Funkus has already started blooming on your weapon. It would be reckless to use it. You toss it into the meadow and take another. Shit. Oh yeah, so you don't actually, like, that doesn't cause you to leave the whole thing, it's just you need multiple munitions for each failed attempt. Shit, I should have brought all my munitions. I didn't realize that it would be like this. <sighs> well, return to the cabins. I guess we should probably take a quick trip into the reserve, huh? Make things a little bit better. Gain some sky stories. So does that just increase my percent chance uh, at successes when I go in? Nothing to ask, right? Ask. I mean, we've already asked all these things. Okay, well, I still need to ask the researcher about what's going on on Hybris, but maybe I can't do that until I've solved this situation here. That's probably the case. Yeah, I don't see anything. It might not even be the phlegmatic researcher that I need to turn this stuff into. If it's someone else, then I definitely need to save them because all the other people have gone off <laughs> into the wilderness. Considering that I'm fairly low on money and I'm going to an area that's probably going to have a lot of bees, I'm actually not going to buy the deal of the Chorister Nectar. 
That's a lot of money and probably a lot of angry bees following me. Granted, I should be able to take them no problem in this ship. Ah, but still... No, I'm gonna leave it. I'm too low on money. Right now. So, I bought some supplies. I have a good amount of fuel. Fuel lasts longer than supplies, usually. As long as you don't have a totally full hold, which I don't. As I say that, I feel like I should buy another fuel. So this whole munitions thing was a bit of a bust. Unless I want to go all the way back to New Winchester and then back to the reserve right now, and I don't, so let's explore. Like I said, I was going to like go up here, go around, see if we can go down to Lustrum to follow up on Madame Lumiere's quest. And explore at the same time. Let's actually see if we can go up this way. Yeah, I've never been over here at all, really. This place is so gorgeous. I love that you can actually see places on the map, like here, Albert's Idol. You can actually see them as, like, named separate things that you can actually come across in your ship. And those are also the things that you can visit from the, the station, from the nature reserve. Right, the cabins, Albert's Idol. You can see these little, like, bridges. And that's how you get to them. That's really cool. It makes it feel like they're really, uh, like, an actual real place and not just a thing that exists inside of a menu. You know, I just want to give a shout out to the Diffident Bat. I've had them since basically the beginning of the game. I've had them for more than a year. Whoa. They've been awesome. <laughs> uh, the bees might be angry at me. I might have gotten a couple shots in on them. Have I? Are you angry at me? I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay. Star Maddened Explorer. That's why I look different from Mara Marauder. No point scavenging for parts. Sky Story and some Sovereigns. Yeah, I'm glad I did not bring the Nectar. That was a good call. <laughs> oh, look at how bright these are here. So beautiful. Never seen those growths before. Oh, I see a huge nest down there. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, that's gorgeous. Noller's not. I hope the bees know that I don't mean them any harm. Because I know sometimes they seem to randomly get angry at me. Yeah, I'm not going to steal their nectar or anything like that. Okay, so that does hook up over here. It seems like they're, these bees are following me, it seems like. Oh, this is, this is something that I don't think I've ever read on camera before, although I've seen it pop up quite a few times. Uh, the Repentant Devil is listening to the bees... They sing of a well and the unpleasant fate of the one who gave them voices. So the bees are singing of Old Tom's well, and we know that there's some sort of a connection between the bees and the well because there's those like beehive hovel things there, right? The unpleasant fate of the one who gave them voices. Well, Old Tom had an unpleasant fate. Wasn't it their last wish that then made that Vortex appear? 
Old Tom's Well or something like that. And then I think they died. Or I guess it was the seed put there by the messenger that made the well appear, probably, but... Anyway, yeah, I wonder if that's who they're singing of, Old Tom. Did Old Tom really give them voices, though? Uh-oh, 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 they're angry at me. Maybe, maybe I just got too close to their nests, and that makes them angry? Oh my god. Oh, wow. Um... Mm, yeah, I'm leaving. Holy shit. I think we're fine now. Yeah, I, I feel like being close to the hives has made them angry, maybe? Or maybe just all the shooting? Maybe if they get pissed off by like shooting, they get pissed off at everybody around them. That's not a bee. But we're fine now. You can make a lot of money. If you just go in there blasting, all the separate bees are all a separate chance to get nectar and all the hives, you can get nectar. I don't want to mess with the bees, though. I mean, they're cool. They didn't do anything to me. The air is thick and sweet. Cool. Oh. Touch of the skies. Additional ration of brandy. Reduced to tear. Air is thick and sweet. Corster bees make their hives here, dug into the bowls of broken bronzewood trees. Oh, look at all that stickiness. Your navigator is entranced by the wash of flowers, and soon arrived in fields of something, the home of shadows. I can't read it, it's covered up by that. Yeah, look at this, wow. Beautiful. This place is so cool. Oh, oh, this is a wonder. It sure is. Uh-oh. Why are they angry at me randomly? I mean, I know it's not random, it can't be. Was I too close to the nest again? I wasn't very close. This place is gorgeous. A little bit dangerous? Look at that one. Look at all these little things like sprouting outside of the inside of these things. It's fun just to listen to the bees sing when I'm not dodging their stings. <laughs> It took me a while to actually find the singing that the bees supposedly did. It's in, like, the buzzing of their wings. It's kind of subtle. Hmm. I guess I'll turn around and see if this goes deeper in here. I really don't understand what makes them angry. See, they're starting to get a little bit aggroed. Give them, them, giving them a wide berth. Oh, this is a dead end, isn't it? Oh, 
that is. It doesn't lead over here to Lustrum. Okay. Uh, this pathway might lead deeper in. Alright, let's get the heck out of here. Normally I would cut because I'm going back through an area that I've already been, but like I've just been here and it's also incredibly beautiful and literally a wonder. And there's tons of bees, so I'm actually not going to cut. Bees have calmed down. Nice and quiet. Yeah, can you hear the singing in there? Wings. Buzzing. It's like do 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 do. If this was an adventure game, like a traditional point-and-click adventure game, I would say you'd have to listen to the notes and repeat it on a piano to unlock a box to get a key. I freaking love these weapons. Loot the hold, clasped jewelry box, salon stewed gossip. Oh, so this one, I can explore this one then, right? Thanks to its coat of vines, this overgrown signal box of the Isambard line retains its structural integrity, if not its dignity. I love that they've customized each of these platforms, even though the platform itself, I think, looks basically the same. No matter where you see it, they've customized it to the region. It's overgrown with leaves and vegetation. Um, this one might be different from the others. The window frames serve as a trellis for a vine circumnavigating the signal box. The plant's stem resembles thigh-thick twine, giving the building the appearance of a hurriedly wrapped parcel. Yeah, so like all this stuff is the same as every other one, but maybe this first line is unique and I've been missing the other ones that are unique. Because I don't think I've been reading those. Uh, let's read the ledger. Captain O'Connor. Captain describes the dapple of distant starlight falling over their engine. The long hours spent in the watchful dark, suddenly shattered by a dazzle of cold radiance. When will they know such splendor again? Wait, did the bat not say anything when it came back? Did you find that? A solitary settler lives in this modest homestead. Oh my god, oh my god, this is the one. I'm, I just peeked down. Ants, bring a colony of ants aboard. Ah. A solitary settler lives in this modest homestead. She's not much of a conversationalist, but the enticing smells that waft from her kitchen are convincing. Finally bring a colony of ants aboard! I've been wanting to do that forever, and I know they mentioned homesteads, but nothing's ever come up about it until now. Phlegmatic researcher of Ledbetter and Stanrod requested a sample of the little deers. The little deers. 
a few shovelfuls of dirt into a nice glass tank and you've thousands of the crawlers to bring him. Think about how weird it is. Some people come by. Oh. What the fuck? Oh my god. Oh, it shoots goo. What in the fuck is that thing? was that? What monster can take over a ship and use it like it's a parasite? A ship? Ships aren't biological. The guests. Those are the guests. The guests evicted. Their stolen home bursts open under your gunfire. Thousands of wriggling guests spill into the night, glistening like the ooze from a blister after it was lanced. Their blasts have ripped open one of the crew quarters. The revealed insides has pustules of nascent guests hanging from the walls. It has such a disturbing name, guests, because it's so innocuous, but... <laughs> what it describes is anything but... Trap and collect some of the guests. This will get you captive guests. Enough can be used to create a weapon. <laughs> Would the weapon act like what it was shooting at me? Like shooting nasty ooze? Do I want that as a weapon? It's pretty cool, but it's disturbing. Oh, right. I need a sample of the guests' ligaments. Well, I guess that's more important. But yeah, let's do that. They, uh... They don't know what... The phlegmatic researcher in the LNS Nature Reserve does not know what he has requested of you, but you'll see it done. Yeah. Yeah. I think it was fucking terrifying and incredibly cool. I'm surprised it took me so long to see one. Is it just because it's like they're only in a few parts of the map, or...? You know, I wonder if the game has any sort of a system where as you level up and gain more experience and whatnot, you start to encounter new encounters? Or if it's just based on where you are in the map, or what? Collect a sample. In the ruins of the locomotive, crippled by the shrapnel that was once the hole, you find two of the guests in a weakened state. With a well wetted, well, with a well wetted saw, you slice them apart before returning to your locomotive with your bounty. Now I know that if something looks like a Tackety Scout, it might not be a Tackety Scout. That was my first thought when I saw it come out. I was like, oh, enemy. And then second thought was, oh, it's Tackety. And then third thought, hey, it's got tentacles coming out of it and it's screaming. The history will be kind. Um, let's let's strip her for repairs. Some of her plating is intact. Gained eleven. A growing unease. Patience erodes, tempers fray. Oh yeah, we're at fifty percent tear. We'll start getting events now. Uh, yeah, it looks like this is probably going to lead through, which is very good. Do, 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 do. All 
Alright, so that was really cool. So, we found a guest for the first time. We found a really cool wonder over here. And a shortcut to get between Lustrum and the Nature Reserve. Sort of a shortcut. I guess, yeah, that is probably shorter than going this way. A little bit more direct, maybe. Um, and there is something else that I forgot. Oh, right. That was the last great patch of unexplored area other than this. Which means that the region's grave likely is here. I mean, it almost has to be. Like, most of this other gray is just area that I can't actually go. Really, the only at all significant places to explore. This is the biggest. There's a bit here and a little bit here. It's very likely right here. All right, I'll meet you back at Lustrum. At Lustrum now. A lot of little things that we can do here. So, miners are celebrating. Let's join the celebration. We'll reduce our terror from 56 to 46. Want to get a poor report? We don't have any new things to turn in to Jane. Don't want to climb. Um, oh, I do want to get some of my crew back. Remember, I left them here, and I've never had room to pick them back up, but now I have three slots. So, visit my own claim. Retrieve your crew. One. You, over here. You're needed on the train. Because we have to get them back one at a time. There we go. Back to full capacity. Let's do the main thing that we came here for. Oh, actually, wait. We can explore Lustrum. I've done that before, right? But you can only do it every once in a while. I didn't seem to really do anything in particular. I thought maybe it'd reduce terror. Anyway, look out for Madame Lumiere's production. She's expressed concern about one of her productions currently filming somewhere on Lustrum. Madame Lumiere's film is not difficult to find. Everyone's heard of the daft actor actors who are attempting to stage the siege of New Winchester in a shed. <laughs> the historical production has run into difficulties. The director has been caught by the fever for hours and spends his days on the mountain. The lead actor has run off with a successful prospector. The producer is doing his best, but assistance is urgently required if the film's to succeed. The pernickety factor expresses her displeasure at being involved in the cinema and returns to your locomotive for a smoke in the Gazette crossword. Take over the reins as the director. Take the lead's role or rewrite the script. Hmm. So who do they have that's actually doing anything? Just the producer? So like... The director and the lead actor are both just kind of gone. Take the lead's role, you're sure you can carry off the governor of New Winchester, and besides, there's no dialogue. Uh, let's rewrite the script. A good script will save anything. Madame Lumiere, for all her many talents, has a shaky grasp of plot and a shakier grasp of history. You work with what you have and dramatize the rise of the Tacketys, the backroom deals in the round table the clandestine intrigues of Sweet Jane, rather than the fall of New Winchester itself. Someone says afterwards the film felt more like a play than a film, as though that's a bad thing. Nice, we rewrote it to talk about the rise of the Tacketys. <laughs> I love it. I wonder if I was like really, really in good graces with the uh, the Windward Company. Would that be the like the opposite? We wouldn't be dramatizing the rise of the Tacketys with the rise of the Windward Company, depending on your affiliation. Um, we could drink more tea. I've already tried every flavor, but we'll reduce our terror. Oh, let's go with that nasty Blue Kingdom stuff. Yeah, what was that description? It tastes of dust swept from the darkest corner of a sepulcher. Best served with a drop of milk, ideally on the very edge of turning. Ugh. A very cheap way to reduce terror by 10%. Wow. I think it was 
Five sovereigns for ten terror reduction. That's great, actually. Oh, let's buy the deal of the day. I don't have much money, but these aren't nearly as expensive as the Gourds of Nectar. And this is only available to me because I'm villainous. Right, well, since I'm here, let's head down here so I can just reveal this area a little bit and go down here, reveal this area, because there's so little left to explore in the Reach. I want to make sure I'm pretty thorough and don't miss anything. So I'll get these areas, and then we can finally go to Port Prosper, which I haven't been to in a long time. And I know I have some business there. If nothing else, I have something to deliver from the Nature Reserve to Port Prosper. I guess I should probably take a quick stop at Kirillin just to get a port report. It's only barely out of the way. Yeah, let's go down south. 